Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. So let's continue the suggested colors for MEP modeling. So this time, I'm going to discuss the fire protection, plumbing, sanitary, and gas uh, suggested color coding. So again, I'm going to teach you how to create system, okay, aside from assigning the colors. Alright, so let's get started. So to begin with, I'm going to create a mechanical template. Mechanical template project. Okay, and then after that for uh, plumbing, plumbing system. So let me just uh, move my, my families here so I can see here the piping system. Okay, so I already have the domestic cold water, uh, domestic hot water. Okay, so let me just rename this one, the domestic cold water. So I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to call this uh, booster pipe. Okay. So domestic cold water booster pipe system. Okay. And then for my suggested color here, so I'm going to modify the type properties. And then I'm going to select here edit. Okay. And then for the color, so I'm going to use uh, red. 1 to 9, oops, 1 to 9, 0, and 1 to 9, okay? And then I select here, okay? Again, for the line weight, it's up to you, and for the pattern, so it's up to you. And then I just select here, okay? You can modify the mechanical parameters here, the values, so it's up to you. And I select, okay? Now, I'll try to create this pipe. I right-click, right-click, uh, the create ins instance not available, so it's okay. So, I'll just right-click again until it appears. Okay, so, if the create instance is not appearing or it's not available, so what I can just do is, I'll just create the pipe. I'll create the pipe. Okay, and then just make sure the system pipe here is the one that we just created, this one. Alright, so I'll just create here. Okay, the reason why we are not able to see our uh, model here, our pipe, it's because of our settings here. It's currently under mechanical HVAC, so we need to change our view to plumbing, okay? So I'll just cancel it first, so I select 1-plumbing. Okay, and then let me just create another type. So right click, oops, so I just go to pipe, systems, pipe, pipe, and then again booster pipe. So I'll just create from here, this one, there you go, and then I select here modify. Okay, so let me just turn off the thin lines and turn change the detail level to fine. So this is how it looks like. Okay, and then for the domestic hot water, let me just change the name of this. I will just call this water uh, booster pipe. Okay, and then for the color, the suggested color, so I go to graphic overrides. So it's the same as the uh, cold water. So 1 to 9, Zero and one two nine. Okay, and then okay, then okay. Right? So let me just right click. Okay, so it's cannot so pipe. So I use the hot water, so this is the hot water. And then I select modify. Okay, then after that I'm gonna create another type of cold water. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So another pipe system that we can use for cold water is uh, domestic cold water gravity pipe. Domestic cold water gravity 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 pipe. Okay, and then I'll just right click this and I'll just change the property. Okay, 
Uh, let me just change the color. So for the suggested color of the domestic cold water gravity pipe, uh, gravity pipe is uh, 2550 and 63. Okay. So let me just create again the pipe. <coughs> gravity pipe. Okay. By the way, for the hot, so let me change the hot water. Let me just change the hot. It's, it's a water. Mm -hmm. Water. This is booster pipe. So it's 129, 129 also. Okay, so no need to change. Okay, so what else? Let me just make this. Uh, capital letter. Uh, probably no need because it will just take a lot of time. But usually what I do every time I create a new system, I make it all caps. So that I have a differentiation if that is from the default settings or from the default uh, piping system and then from the one that I have created. But uh, no need for me to change because it will take a lot of time. Okay, what else? Uh, another type of cold water. So I'm going to duplicate this and then rename. So we also have this what we call uh, transfer pipe. Okay, so transfer pipe. So transfer pipe. So I'm going to change the color of this. For transfer pipe, it's uh, 255127. One, two, seven for blue. So it's like this. Okay. So let me create the pipe. Transfer pipe. So let me create here. Okay. So we already have the booster pipe. Okay. So we need to create a hot also. Uh, domestic hot water uh, gravity pipe. So gravity pipe, so we need this to our project. At least here in the country that I am working with. So we have this kind of uh, system. Domestic hot water gravity pipe. So that is 255 for red, 0 for green, and for blue. Okay, so this will be uh, 63. Okay, and then let me just create, let me just create a shortcut of this here since I always use this tool. So I'm going to right click this and then add to quick access toolbar. So that is another tip so that it will be placed here on your quick access toolbar. Okay, so that's my hot water gravity pipe. Okay, there you go. And another type of uh, domestic hot water is transfer i mean return pipe okay return pipe return pipe so for the return pipe the color here is uh, 35 uh, 255 127 for green and 0 for blue so it's like this okay all right so i select the pipe here I create one. Oh, let me just change first the type. So return pipe. Okay, then I'll create this one. There you go. Okay. So this is for our domestic cold and hot water. Okay, and then another type of uh, pipe that we have here, we call that new water. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate other here. Okay, then I'm going to change the name. So I will call this one a uh, new water. Okay, new water, water gravity pipe system. Okay. So let me just modify the color. Okay, so for the color of that, for the gravity pipe, okay, so 255. Zero and 63 also. Okay. 
So I'm showing you this one so that at least you know what are the systems that uh, most of the companies are using when it comes to uh, piping. Okay. All right. So what else? So I'm going to duplicate this one. All right. So this time we also have new water uh, booster pipe. Booster pipe. Okay. So right click, type properties. So for the booster pipe, so that is 129 for red and 129 for blue. Okay. Then I select OK. And then I'll create the type. So for the booster pipe. Okay, so another type of new water is transfer pipe. So I'll just duplicate this. Duplicate. Rename. Okay, so this will be the transfer pipe. Okay, and then for the color of the transfer pipe, so I go to graphic overrides, color. Okay, so for the transfer pipe of new water type, so 255, 0, and 127. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you are taking down notes of this colors so i create this type uh, this is my transfer pipe okay so on the use of the pipe so you just need to check the internet so what are the uses of this type of this pipe okay now so after the plumbing and the plumbing sanitary this time so i'm going to create the sanitary pipe so there's the sanitary so this one, I'm just going to rename this one. So I'll just rename. So I'll call this a uh, sanitary SWP. Okay, so double click this. Edit. Okay, and then for the color of my sanitary SWP is 2550 and 63. Okay, then that is my sanitary All right. Okay. So again, you can standardize the colors that you want. Okay. So the main thing here is at least you know what are the systems that we are using to create our uh, MEP piping. Okay. For the color, it's up to you what are the colors that you want. Okay. So for our sanitary WP. So for the color of that, so this is 25563 also. Okay, and then okay. So that's my WP. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So that's for my sanitary. Now for the fire protection, so we already have a, a preloaded fire protection system here. So let me just duplicate this one and create another fire protection type of pipe system. So this will be the fire protection. I'll just call it pipe. Okay, so double click to open the type properties, then edit, and then the color. Okay, so I'm going to make this uh, 255, 170, and 191. Alright, so that will be the fire protection pipe. Pipe, fire protection pipe, where are you? This one. It's a fire protection pipe. There you go. Okay, so another type of fire protection that I'm going to create is for the concealed pipe. Okay, so I'll duplicate the other here. Change the name. Okay, so this is for the fire protection concealed pipe. Okay. Double click. Now for the concealed type, so I'll just change this to 0, 129, and 129. Alright. Okay. Okay, and then okay. 
and then let me create the pipe again change the type to concealed so this is how it looks like representation of the concealed fire protection pipe and the, la the last one is uh, right click the other so I'm gonna call this if we have concealed okay we also have exposed pipe exposed pipe okay and that traffic overrides the color and red is 255, 170, and 212. Okay. 255, 170, and 212. Let me just check again. Yeah. 255, 170 212. Okay. Then create that exposed pipe. Exposed pipe, where are you? There you go. Alright. So basically, these are. Oh, we also have vent. Okay, so the vent is already created here. Let me just change the color of the vent. For the vent, I just make the zero, one, two, nine, zero. Okay. So that is for my vent pipe system. Okay. All right. So basically, these are the piping system that we can use for our fire protection, plumbing, sanitary, and gas. If you have other piping system, this is how you create it, all right? So you can right-click the other and then duplicate. Then after that, you change the name. And then after that, you change the colors, all right? So hopefully, this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And visit learningwithrich.wordpress.com. Until then, thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.